The SNP announced it would seek to hold a second Scottish independence referendum this week, setting into motion its second separatist campaign and ruffling feathers across Westminster. Could Labour team up with the SNP to form a government at the next election? Sir Keir Starmer has been accused by Conservative MPs of plotting a coalition deal with Nicola Sturgeon's party in the event Labour wins the next general election in 2024. The Tories have been on the offensive about any possible pact as rumours circulate that the Prime Minister could call an early general election. Last month, Boris Johnson claimed the main threat to Brexit freedoms would be the disaster of a Labour and SNP coalition to take us back into the EU. Matt Hancock, the former Health Secretary, last week alleged that Sir Keir would make a dirty deal with Nicola Sturgeon that breaks up the country as he would fail to secure a majority on his own. The First Minister announced this week that she will attempt to ensure a legal referendum on Scottish independence can be held on October 19, 2023. Sir Keir is said to be in favour of ruling out a coalition with the SN. The Labour leader will use a motion at his party's conference in September to ensure his pledge not to grant Ms Sturgeon another vote. The party has levelled up its opposition to the SNP in recent weeks, with Scottish Labour leader Anas Sawa due to outline his policy vision on Monday. Labour Party sources have confirmed this will be followed by a series of meetings at Shadow Cabinet and with MPs to firm up the party's strategy in the face of an independence referendum. Mr Sawa is already firming up opposition to the SNP north of the border by blocking deals with the SNP. Before May's council elections he vetoed Labour coalitions, which forced local leaders to form minority administrations by arranging deals with other parties. At the time of the referendum announcement, Mr Sawa accused Ms Sturgeon of spending all of her time on the independence campaign and breaking up our country and dividing our people. Labour MPs have also slammed the Tories' allegations of a coalition.